Today's video, we're gonna be checking out the new release, Star Ace Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. This is Newt Scamander 1-6 scale collectible action figure. Played by actor Eddie Redmayne, Newt would appear in the film Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, which was released to theaters back in 2016. Taking the tape measure, the figure would stand at a little over 12 inches in height. He comes with an oval-shaped display base, which features Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them on the top. A standard waist clip is also present here at the very top of the neck that's included with the base. The waist clip is perfect to be fitting around the waist of the figure. And one thing I would mention though is when you are putting it around the figure, I would try my best to put it above the uh, this buckle portion of his jacket. The last thing you would want to do is get either one of these little tong sections uh, caught here and accidentally pull these buttons right off. The figure's outfit will consist of a white shirt, bow tie, brown trousers, a vest, a dark brown suit coat, and this exquisite blue jacket. Which I can only describe as almost like a faux blue suede. It's a gorgeous looking jacket. I know Star Ace has done a great job when it comes to their six scale figure, specifically the outfits that they give them. But the jacket is one of my personal favorites. It, it does, for starters, feel like it is an actual real suede. I'm certain it probably is not. And it has all these really fine looking stitch marks all the way up the sides, around the collar portion, and around the pockets, which are real working pockets. On the back, of course, we've already looked at these, but he's got the little buckle portion on the back, which has what looks to be real sewn in buttons. And he also has a series of buttons down the sides here as well. I can't say that they missed one detail at all when it comes to his wardrobe. Uh, you could remove the jacket and just have him wearing the uh, the suit jacket if you so wish. But the jacket looks so fantastic, I'd be so inclined to more, more so just to keep it right on. Um, but if we just move the jacket completely out of the way just for one second, you can see the individual buttons that make up the jacket coat and then move that away. The buttons that are running down the front area of the vest. The vest has some stitch work on the interior. And actually speaking of interior, you can see how everything kind of gets stitched together exactly the same way a one-to-one -one scale jacket, for example, would be sewn together. But the only thing I would say uh, for outfit wise, as good as it is uh, with a vest, the vest is attached by Velcro. So when you are closing off the vest, from some angles, you can see that there's a strip of Velcro running down the side. I suppose they could have put snaps uh, where these buttons could have snapped, or at the very least, one or two buttons could have snapped together so you wouldn't have seen the Velcro, uh, but that's a very small little nitpick. Carrying further down, you've got his brown slacks, and we just lift the cuff up. You can even see how high the boots have been sculpted. Um, the laces are sculpted in as well. They are not real laces. And it looks like they've added a slight, almost airbrushing of a darker shade of brown to like the little slide, little side areas of where the boot kind of start wrinkling and bunching. By the way, also on the undersides, there is the soles. Apparently they were made in Bangladesh and you got 2018 with Star Ace below. The face sculpt on News Commander is really nicely done, especially the hair. I think the hair is really done well, too. He's got a much messier hairstyle than maybe some of the other characters that we've seen Star Ace release uh, six scale figures before, but uh, they definitely have nailed and captured the hair and the likeness, I think, to his face. And I'm certain I sound like a broken record for saying this, but one of the things that Star Ace is really good at doing is imperfections in skin. Sculpt can go a long way, yes, but when you start looking at the little spots and freckles that make up his skin, you can really see that they put a lot of time and effort into the figure here. In this case, would I say this face captures the likeness of Newt Scamander from the movie? Absolutely. 
just before I show you the other accessories that come included with this figure, one thing I also want to mention for his outfit, he comes with a scarf. The scarf is very nicely knit together, has a good thickness to it, so it doesn't feel flimsy or, or of a poor quality. This, in fact, is something that, if it was large enough, I could almost see myself wearing also. The colors of the scarf are ultimately that of a dark brown and yellow. There's some additional kind of almost off shades of yellow incorporated in there as well. And the tassels down below are alternating that same brown and yellow. The scarf can fit around his neck. You could either have it really loose, for example, running down the sides, or you can tie it off to the front. Um, I probably would end up finding myself displaying the figure more so without the scarf and maybe try to have the means to have the jacket a little bit like more opened. But I do like the fact that a company like Starius would include something like a scarf to go with the figure. He also gets himself his suitcase featured in the film. The suitcase does have a rattling to the interior. I'll talk about that in a second, but it's been nicely painted, heavily damaged looking case with all these little rivet points and these little gold, almost, I would say more closer to a copper or bronze on the corners as well as the front snaps here. An added nice touch that I like is that they put the little oxidized green areas in which, you know, like a real case that has metal components, you know, something like this could oxidize and you get the little green little uh, markings, little green uh, off colorings here. It's also present here also in the case. The case does open and inside is the part that slightly rattles a little bit. It's this interior workings where you feel like you could almost crawl right into there. Um, it doesn't come out necessarily, not without a little bit of shaking. You can pull that out completely and inside you've got the inner lining of the case itself. You can go either or really displaying it. Uh, one thing though is when you are when you are putting it in, um, you may again like notice it rattles a bit because it has to have enough gap for you to be able to pull it out. And even pulling it out, you have to shake it a little bit to actually pull it right out. It has a slightly, well not slightly, it is a clear plastic and then the printed image on the interior there. The next couple of accessories I want to show you involve me opening the case back up. One of the things he comes included with is a Niffler. And this particular one, I know, looks like it's been cut in half. There's a big hole in the bottom. But you can take it and fit it just inside the case. That's kind of where these little uh, kind of grooves or shapes are for on the sides. Doesn't really fit him all that well. He will slide around on you. Uh, the other thing he comes with is a demiguise. And the uh, the hair, the paint on the hair is done really nicely here. I thought it might be a, a squishier, softer plastic by the nature of the fact that he's got the it's got the hole on the underside there. Uh, but it's it, it is a dense plastic, and that can also fit inside the case here. Again, they don't necessarily peg into place. More so, they sort of sit on the inside grooves of this oval shaped on the inside of the case and you can have them peeking out like that. If you're devastated by the fact that Niffler was cut in half, don't worry, there's another Niffler that's included here. This one's a fully, full sculpted Niffler. It's got a slightly, a slight sheen to the plastic here. So it reflects the light quite nicely and paint. Though the colors are primarily black and you've got the orange then in the beak and the feet, They've added some additional shading, like an airbrushing of a, of a warmer orange on the tips, as well as the feet themselves. Much smaller in size, he also comes with a bow truckle. And it's got some varying degrees of color, browns on the tips, both on the fingers, if you want to call it fingers, and the bottom portion here. Gets a slight lighter green, and then a more darker green in the base. Even painted in like the eyes. Very, very small piece. It's made up of a softer, pliable plastic. It actually fits just right. If you go ahead and take his hand, for example, and what I did was, you can actually take the bow truckle and fit it kind of in between the pointer finger and his middle finger. And it's just enough that it stays in place, well, stays in place for the most part. Obviously, if you're going to be shaking it, it might fall off, but 
it's a good way actually a nice little displaying piece that you can have displayed with him also gets himself a wand which is painted in yellow and orange it's a much thicker wand and a much smoother looking textured wand than perhaps say some of the harry potter wands that we've gotten from star ace as well you can see all these little nicks and line decos that are added to the wand itself painted a little bit black on the end there Again, it's a much thicker looking wand than we've seen in the past. Lastly, rounding out the rest of his accessories, defaulted coming out of packaging, he comes with a pair of relaxed hands, but he also comes with a pair of gripping hands. One hand suited for holding the case. The other hand, as you could probably guess it, suited for holding the wand. And the wand sits on an angle, sits against the, basically sits parallel to the fingers here, and allows the wand to be angled outward here. In fact, for how good the wand and case look in hand, this is probably going to be how I end up displaying Newt. His last accessory, and one of which I couldn't possibly leave out, and that's his Akami egg. Um, the egg itself looks like it's been cast in one plastic and then simply painted in a silver plastic. Taking either one, by the way, of his relaxed palms, they're not magnetized, at all nor are they really friction applied but as you can see the relaxed palms perfectly hold the Akami egg in place. When it comes to Newt Scamander's articulation he has the following. His head is on a ball joint and let me also show you too I can't really necessarily move the collar out of the way but he has a ball joint here attaching itself to the cavity of the head but then, as you could probably see with the neck moving, he's got a secondary ball joint when you are rotating the neck. So the neck has its own ball joint and then a ball joint up here. One thing that you will want to keep an eye for though is the Adam's apple. So when you are rotating the head, you're not inadvertently rotating the neck off its center point. Shoulders hinge outward as well as a forward and back. As you could probably expect it because of the layers of clothing that he has, moving the arms forward you start feeling a little bit of a tight, tense area starting to develop in the shoulder area, so you don't want to move the arms too far forward. He has a bicep, uh, bicep swivel. He has what only appears to be a single hinge in the elbow, and he's got a rotation and hinge in the hands. His torso gets a top ab crunch, as well as he has a waist swivel. And his legs not only can hinge out, but forward and back. He gets a swivel cut on the top cut of the thigh. He has a double hinge on the knee, and he also has a hinge in the foot. The feet, if I just move the cuff upward, you can rotate the feet all the way around. You get a little bit of hinge up and down, but because these are a denser plastic, you're not gonna have as much flexibility moving these. Newt's Commander is currently slated to be released in February to March 2018. So if you are looking to pick this guy up for yourself, most online sites will currently have this guy slated for pre-order. So he's not, he's not officially out just yet. For fans, though, of Fantastic Beasts and where to find him, I think this is a, an excellent piece that you may be wanting to pick up from the folks over at Star Ace. I can only hope that New Scamander here is not the only figure that we're going to be getting from that film franchise, or well, first film of a future franchise. Uh, today we were having a look, though, at the Star Ace Fantastic Beasts and where to find him. This was the New Scamander 1-6 scale collectible action figure. If you guys are interested, by the way, of going back and having a look at some of the other Star Ace figure reviews that I've done, fear not, don't worry, don't fret. There's a playlist on this channel that you can go back and check out that covers everything Star Ace that I've ever done. So if you want to watch those videos, you can check those out at your viewing pleasure. If you guys also haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, make sure you do so. Of course, more videos will be coming your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.